Welcome everyone. We're Welcome. so glad to be with you again. Oh my gosh, it's yes. our midweek and yep, yep. it is foggy out and so we decided to yep. come to the church for the first time for our midweek and we're excited to be here and I'm excited to hear what David has to say today. Wow, I sure like it outside, but I'll tell you what, it's nice in here too. Actually, yes. what we're going to be talking today is something that came from our prayer group last week that the Lord had me prepare a small message for our prayer group. And what came out of it was so amazing. It was. Let me just say this, nothing is too hard for God. No matter what you're going through in your life, absolutely nothing is impossible for right. Him. So I just wanna welcome everybody, wherever you're from, just leave in the comments, just say, hey, I'm from Oregon, I'm from Japan, I'm yes. from Hong Kong, wherever it is. And we're just so grateful you're here. I hope that this wakes you up, so to speak, like it woke me up. It really it woke me up too. I was um, reading, uh, just as I always do, I study on different subjects. And mm -hmm. today we're gonna be talking about God is unlimited, our limited God. Now, this doesn't just have to deal with healing. It has to do with prosperity. He's, yeah. he's unlimited Everything. in every single area of our lives. Let me tell you, when yeah. David talked about this at our prayer group the other day, I wanted to run around the room. <laughs> I wanted to get up so bad. I was yeah. so excited. So get your expectors on yeah. and yeah. expect God to move today because yeah. it's going to be incredible. So what I was doing <laughs> is as I was getting ready, I'm just going to kind of do exactly the way that God showed me how to do it. Yeah. I was reading from a book by John G. Lake, a very amazing minister from a long time ago. Uh, John G. Lake, and he had in the Sacramento newspaper, he had 24 articles on divine healing. Mm -hmm. And there's 24 of them. And so I'm just sitting here starting off reading one, two, and when I hit three, this is, I'm gonna read three to you. It's, it's not that long, it's short, but I'm gonna read it to you. And at the end of it, it just, something really got me on fire and turned me up, like just went whoosh, And I hope it does for you too. But yeah. here he's talking about divine healing. And the question was uh, given to him by readers is this, does God heal sinner as well as the saint? And here it is. To this question, he says, the World Bible Truth Crusaders say yes. Whew, the Bible says he healed all that came to him. No matter if you're a sinner, it's whoever you are, Jesus will That's heal right. you. It doesn't matter. And he gives all the scripture references. That they came to Jesus was enough. That was it. They were not asked what form of worship they subscribed to. <laughs> they came unto yeah. him and that satisfied Jesus. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, he didn't care. He wasn't like, okay, let's just check and make sure you follow, you know, all these boxes <laughs> are checked and you are able to receive. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Jesus didn't care. <laughs> Yeah. And we shouldn't care. No, we shouldn't. We can't put God we in a box and we can't limitations. not there limit are, God. That's right. When they possessed faith, Jesus hastened to commend it. He never told anyone that it was God's will they were sick. He never told anyone they were being perfected in character through sickness. Hello. Go off on that for a little bit. <laughs> We better watch what we're saying to people. <laughs> yeah, you can really hurt people by your words. Yeah. We really have to like watch this thing because sometimes we just want to blah. And what does the yeah. scripture say? Does, there is nowhere in the scripture that yeah. says that God is putting sickness on you because he wants to teach you a lesson. Nothing, yeah. nothing. Yeah. Jesus came to give us life and yes. life everlasting yeah. and Come by on. Jesus Come stripes we are healed. Yes. Now, why would God put sickness on you and then turn around and say, you know what? I, uh, Jesus bore the stripes on his body yeah. for your yeah. healing. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. He commanded, Jesus commanded his 12 disciples to heal the sick. He gives some scriptures. Mm. He commanded the 70 first to heal the sick and then said, the kingdom of God is nigh unto you. So first he had the 12 go out, then he had the 70 go mm -hmm. out. The World Bible Crusaders, it's of which I am the president, this is John G. Lake, mm -hmm. teach that all may be healed, that all may find salvation. That alone is amazing. 
The Crusaders invite you to bring the halt, the sick, the lame, and the blind. It makes no difference what they may be, Protestant, Catholic, or Jew. <laughs> Again, yeah. if we look at Jesus, yeah. Jesus didn't go, oh, I'm sorry, you're a Roman Catholic, or you're from Rome, or you're from... It doesn't matter. That's right. He did not care. No. He wasn't pointing fingers at no. anyone. Everyone nope. is loved by oh Jesus my. Christ. Everybody. For God so loved the world. Yes, everyone. The world. Yeah. That he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That whosoever, whosoever, That's that means you, me, everyone in this world, whosoever shall believe on him shall have everlasting life. Yes. And so here I am. I'm getting to the next part. <laughs> we're, we're really having a good oh, time boy. today, aren't we? We're, uh, the next part is what I was reading. As I said, I was just reading mm -hmm. along, just getting filled up with, with a word and getting filled up with faith and healing and prosperity. All the great, wonderful gifts, those Come divine, <laughs> eternal. These are eternal. Mm -hmm. Healing belongs to us forever. Prosperity, we can get off on this. Anyways, now this is the, the area, and it just went off. Come and here on. it is. Here he goes, he's continuing to say things here. The Crusaders believe that the cause of Christianity has been hurt by petty limitations established by those who have failed to see the magnificent scope of the ministry of Jesus. Jesus is still willing and able to heal all that come. I'm gonna read that one more time. Come Listen on. to this, read it along with me here. The Crusaders believe that the cause of Christianity has been hurt by petty limitations. That limitations word went off on me. Mm. Established by those who have failed to see the magnificent scope of the ministry of Jesus. Jesus is still willing and able to heal all that come. That's right. When I, when I, when that limitation word came, the Lord just started speaking to me oh and he goodness. said, David, too many believers, including myself are limited me limit. They're putting a limitation on me. Well, because they're limiting we live in me. this world. Yeah, exactly. And we're looking too much in the natural yeah. or, so, you know, there's people out there and they put their limits, what they see yeah, yeah. on God. Yeah. And we can't put limits on God. Yeah, God doesn't yeah. want to be put in a box. Yeah, yeah. It's so true. And the first example, and I was like, Lord, please forgive me. You're right. I have been putting limitations on you. I mean, yeah. I am thinking like everybody else around me. I'm not thinking what you say. You are love. God is love. And you love me so much. You have given me these things. I can't yeah. listen to somebody's ideas, mm -hmm. somebody's like, oh, this is experiences. Yeah. I need to listen to his love. What does the word say? Coming through. And the first thing he started talking about was how Jesus multiplied the loaves and the fishes. And I'm like, wow, that's a good, there was absolutely, Jesus knew there is no limitations on his father. None whatsoever. Here he saw thousands mm -hmm. of people. Yeah, yeah. And all he had was what? Here, let's read it. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew 14, 13 through 21. Now take the limits off your mind. Yes. Just, like, let, Just it let it go. Whatever the doctors told you, yes. whatever your parents have told you, whatever someone's told you, just think about God right now and think about and Jesus. And what the scriptures say. Jesus' words right here. Mm -hmm. Verse 13, Jesus slipped away privately by boat to be alone. But when the crowds discovered he had sailed away, they emerged from all the nearby towns and followed him on foot. Talk about hungry for Jesus, I'll tell you what. Wow. So when Jesus landed, he had a huge crowd waiting for him. Seeing so many people, his heart was deeply moved with compassion towards them. So he healed all the sick who were in the crowd. Wow. And the Aramaic actually says this, he nurtured them in love and cured their frailties. Wow. He had compassion. His love has never changed. He is the same yesterday, today, 
and forever. That's he has right. not changed. Well, and he turned around and he told us to do the same works that yeah. he did, yeah. even greater. So we're, we shouldn't be going yep, backwards. Yep, yep. We should be going forwards. Yeah. And we should be seeing signs, wonders, and miracles. That's right. Verse 15, later that afternoon, the disciples came to Jesus and said, It's going to be dark soon, and the people are hungry, but there's nothing to eat here in this desolate place. You should send the crowds away to the nearby villages to buy themselves some food. Like verse 16, this puts it just like, tweaks your thinking alone. Verse 16, mm -hmm. they don't need to leave. There's no food anywhere, basically. They don't need to leave, Jesus mm -hmm. said. He knew his God was about to do something. Yeah. You can give them something to eat, they answered. But all we have is five barley loaves and two fish. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Verse 18, let them have them. Let them have them, Jesus replied. Then he had everyone sit down on the grass. As he took the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven, gave thanks to God, broke the bread into pieces. He gave it to his disciples, who in turn gave it to the crowds. Listen to this, verse 20. Here it is. And everyone ate until they were satisfied, for the food was multiplied in front of their eyes. Mm -hmm. They picked up the leftovers, lifted 12 baskets, and they had 12 baskets full. There was leftover. And that's for the disciples. There were about 5,000 men who were fed in addition to many uh, women and children. Woo! Wow. I mean, no you can't limits. dispute no that. No limits. You cannot dispute that. No. Uh, five loaves fed 5,000. So it, it multiplied. Each loaf multiplied into 1,000 if you look at it that way. Eek! Wow, that's so cool. And then uh, the Lord took me to that, and then he took me over to a bunch of other things. He started speaking these yeah. scriptures, and you're going to find something common. Get ready to run. Uh, get ready to run around <laughs> because you're going to find something common with all right. of these. And remember, we started off saying nothing, nothing, is, nothing impossible. is impossible. Nothing is too hard nothing. for our God. That's right. Amen. Genesis 18:14. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? We're starting off on a good foot. Mm -hmm. At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah, who can't have a baby, shall have a son. What you think is impossible, I'm going to make possible. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 46, 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. In other words, God say, nothing's gonna stop me. Believe me, nothing's gonna stop me. Our words are definitely gonna be lined up with him. Again, we're yeah. taking the limits off of God. Take he the is limits. unlimited in what he can perform. We're knocking those rocks out of your mind today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump in. Jeremiah, we're still the, New Te the Old Testament here. Jeremiah 32. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There's a question. No, Lord, there is not, is the answer. Mm -hmm. Another one, Jeremiah 32. O Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm and there is nothing too hard for thee. There's Matthew, nothing. and then we're jumping into Jesus' nothing words. Nothing too hard. Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence in yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. These are all in chronological order. Ooh. Matthew 19, 26, but Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Oh boy, you can feel the Holy Ghost yes. now. Mark 6, 23, Jesus said unto him, if thou can believeth, all things are possible to him that believeth. 
Mark 10, 27, and Jesus looking upon them saith, with men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Mark 11, 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, you're praying with God here, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Hallelujah. Luke 1, two more here. Oh, here we're Come on. Luke 1, for with God nothing shall be impossible. These are Jesus, mm -hmm. the words of our Christ. Luke 18, 27, he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. I'm, somebody needs to hear that one. Yes. And he said, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. And so I had another one to, to top it off in Philippians 4, 13. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's say that together. I can, I can do, do all, all things through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. I would say it again. I, I can, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. me. Let's say it again. I, I can, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, that's how you get yourself excited. That's how you get yourself out of that state that you're in yes. is just speak the word of God. Just keep speaking it, speaking yeah. it, speaking yeah. it. And I'm telling you that after a few minutes, you'll be here instead of here. You're exactly right. And it's interesting yes. too, because I noticed when we were, we were talking about this in our prayer group mm -hmm. and one of the ladies there was saying, you know what? And she, she had unction, the Holy Ghost was on her and she said, Lord, please forgive me. And she went off on the things w that we have been limiting God in. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a prayer for all of us. Let's just pray right now. Hallelujah. And you just, in your heart, you just, yes. in your heart, you pray along thank with us you, here. Father. But Father, just thank you, thank you for, and you can mention whatever is you've, you've really limited it? God yes. in the area of your lives. Father, just thank you. We ask you to forgive us. According yes. to 1 John 1, 9, you'll forgive us and cleanse us for all rightness, unrighteousness, Father. We ask you to forgive us for putting you in a box, putting limitations on yes. you, not letting you free to move in our lives and in our yes. children's lives and our in our job or in our grandkids or or on our our, our businesses or mm -hmm. our churches or whatever yes. wherever we're at. Father, please forgive us yes. and we let you loose so that you can work on these things. We take the limits off of you. You are unlimited and nothing is impossible to you. Yes. And we give you glory and we rejoice because you're working on those Amen. things right now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. You know, uh, mm. we are to walk by faith mm. and not by sight. Yeah. We are to walk by faith and not by sight. What is faith? It's believing and trusting in the Lord mm. Jesus Christ. <sighs> believing His Word. Believing what He told us is so. So that means that being in this world, we're going to see things that doesn't line up with the Word of God. Mm. But this is where your faith yeah. has to go into the Lord Jesus, yes. what the Word says, and you get in there and you speak the Word of God, not your circumstance, not your situation, because that's not going to do you any good. It's true. Right? Yeah. It's not going to do you any good. Yeah. Oh, but I feel this. Oh, but we don't have the finances to do this. Okay, I get it. Yeah. I mean, it happens to us too. Yeah. But instead of focusing on what this natural says, what is going on in your life, that's where you got to take it by faith yeah. and yeah. turn around and speak what the Word of God says over that situation. That's right. And that's what makes God the impossible. He makes things possible. That's right. Because that's why He's given us the Word to speak those things into existence that aren't yet. That's right. 
Come on. Hallelujah. And if you're taking medicine, take your medicine, it put faith. it on the counter, take those pills out and say, Lord Jesus, in the glory of God, I'm taking yes. this medicine. You don't throw it away. That's what we're talking about right no. now. We're adding the unlimited God, yes. our God, a God of abundance, yes. the God of no lack, Amen. the God of, he, he yes. says, I am the God, the Lord that healeth thee. Yes. We're adding that faith onto what onto you're doing and no one I'm telling no one can loves your voice more than you because you're a spirit when your spirit gets ignited by the words Amen. you say don't even get me on this subject yeah. but you're igniting your yeah. spirit up when you say Amen. my God will supply all my needs I'm paying my bills yes. I'm doing this I'm taking my medicine I'm doing what the doctor said maybe there's another way out maybe Lord show me show me yes. show me and he'll show you those things we're taking the limits off of our God. Purpose. Yes. Yes. If you're taking medication, do do it in faith on purpose. Yeah. You take those medications and you lift them up to the Lord Jesus Christ and say, I am healed. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. And I take these on top of it and I just receive my healing. And I thank you, Lord Jesus. So you got it. You know, we always talk about, and we're going to keep talking about the natural plus the supernatural come together and make an explosive force yeah. for our God. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, so, glory to God. This was good. Stir yourself up. Just listen to this message again yes. over and over and over again because it's the word of God. Listen to it over and over and over take again and get blessed off. and take the limits off. It's, this is a message take for all of us. Off. All of us. And those of you that have been hurt in the Christian world, it's okay. We all get hurt. None of us are perfect. Until we go on to be with the Lord Jesus Christ, someone's going to hurt you because we are not, none of us, we're human beings yeah, yeah. trying to do our best yeah. to follow the Lord Jesus, but none of us are perfect. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So I encourage you, yeah. just move forward, forgive, and move forward and find that perfect place that you can go into a church that God has called you to and do it by faith and ask him to help you because he said, don't forsake the assembling. So I just want to encourage you. Listen, no matter where you go, it's not going to be a perfect church. No. It's not going to be yeah. a perfect pastor or pastors. We're not perfect. Yeah. We're only doing yeah. the best that we know to do. And our heart is right. And we love the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And we want to follow him. Yeah. And we want to help you follow him too. That's right. And we and some of you there, I know some of you don't have churches because you, you're so far away, either you're persecuted, yeah. you're the only one That's in your okay. whole major city that yes. knows Christ. But listen, you're assembling with us. Yes. We're believing in faith with you. Thank you for your prayer request. Amen. We are locking arms with you. Yes. Thank you for your giving. Our Patreon adventure team, you guys are blasting and helping all of us working at blasting this message yeah. out to the world. So listen, I had someone the other day go, now, you talk about Patreon. What is Patreon? Well, I encourage you, follow the link below and just look on there. There is not, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to, in order to go on to the link, it doesn't make you do anything. But you can look on there and see what Patreon is. We're trying to be on the forefront because there's many YouTubers out there that are doing the Patreon. Well, as Christians, God put it in our heart yeah. to also add Let Patreon you get and give. Yeah, yeah, just it's another avenue that you're able to have fun. We're able to have fun with you. <laughs> you go. You, there's things <laughs> in the background that if you become a Patreon member that you'll get. Um, you know, David's new book just came out, and I believe that there's something if you do become a Patreon member that we mm -hmm. can send that book to you, The yeah. Lake of Fire, which I'm telling you, you won't be able to put down. It's yeah. incredible. Yes. Anyways, I encourage you, get on there, look at it, and it's a fun thing, and it's not like you have to spend too much money to do it. It's only, there's a even one on there for $2 you for each a video. A month. You can give a dollar I mean, a month, whatever you want to do. It's but fine. 
hooking up, that means yes. that you're part of this ministry and you're going to receive the same rewards that we're receiving. And that is following the Lord Jesus Christ and it's all for his kingdom. And speaking of that, let's yes. end it here for his kingdom. Yes. And we're so glad and so honored that you came to visit us today. Yes. And I'll tell you what. It was fun. We're all changed. Glory to God for his kingdom. Amen. On the count of three, we're going to say for the kingdom because that's what you do it for. That's what we do it for. Yes. Together we're working for the kingdom. One, two, three, for the kingdom. God bless you and have the best unlimited week ever yes. with him. In Jesus' name. We'll see you next time.